oh hey, how's it going? Um, bad news guys, the gorilla got into the office again um, and he tore up some of the audio equipment, so there's a big audio quality drop off in this video, um, just a fair warning. Um, and if you see the gorilla anywhere around town, uh, be sure to call our phone number. Um, I can't provide the phone number at this time, it's confidential, but um, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled and uh, enjoy the video. Hey, get out of the way, we're watching Mint Bites here. Howdy, partnerinos. Hi, hey. <laughs> How are you outlaws doing in this fine evening? Watch out for the sheriff, folks. Oh, no, I'm not the sheriff. I'm the criminal. No, yeah, I'm saying I'm not saying. You're oh, the I get what you're saying. I'm warning yeah. our fellow criminals about the sheriff. Anyway, we got another. Uh, well, not spicy. Mint bite for you. Minty mm -hmm. mint bite. Well, it's pretty spicy. To Depending on who you ask about the subject. Yeah, we're 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 delving into a pretty intense topic. I'd say mm. we could get some people mad, but we don't care. Could be. I mean, we did a video on workout ethic. Did anyone get mad? I don't know. Did you get any angry comments? I didn't hear any angry comments. Hey, let's get some angry comments in the comments, all right, yeah, guys? Yeah, yeah, give me some angry comments. But today we're angering um, a much bigger group of people. Um, we're going <laughs> to anger people that like the show Stranger Things. Yeah, because we hate the show Stranger Things. <laughs> hold hold your horses there. Well, if, if you're a fan of the show, you, you know this. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying I hate Stranger Things, the show, because it's not bad i do hate what it's become i'll say that mm. I'll, I'll elaborate but you know what i mean yeah i mean i don't know i might just hate it you might just hate it overall. yeah just yeah well i'm i'll i'll, I'll go into my argument yeah, so the first season of stranger things was awesome i think we can agree yeah. on that like great first season but the fan base ruined it just instantly Jumping right ahead. Yep. The fan base stepped in. Um, <laughs> but I do want to talk about the first season. Yeah. Just, little, just like, it's a really creative way. It didn't lay on the 80s nostalgia too heavily. Like, yeah. it laid it on pretty heavily, more so than most shows. But I think it did it. Yeah. Like, in a in a way that was like, okay. there. Yeah. It seems like it's more homage rather than just kind of pointing to stuff and being like, wow, remember that? Yeah, the one thing I'll give it is it kind of brought D and D to the masses, made it a less of a. It used to be like, oh, you play D and D, like you must be some like diseased weirdo, you know. And mm -hmm. then it's like, it was all, it's all of a sudden it was cool, and it was like, oh great, like it, wait, finally. It, it's not like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> maybe to some. <laughs> maybe to some. Maybe to most. <laughs> um, no, but I, I, you know, I think the cast and everyone they played was pretty great in the first season mm -hmm. i think everyone did their job really well you know none of the kids annoyed me none of the yeah. adults annoyed nope. me every nope. character was good i thought it would and the soundtrack ooh, so good actually i'd say yeah i enjoyed it because it, i'm not trying to be that guy but like i watched it when it came out before mm -hmm. it could be tainted by mm. just the hype because it got it only got hyped up like about three or four months after it came out. That was the crazy yeah. thing. It wasn't like when it came out that it became like It was one of those nothing shows on for a while on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Like that just like dark. Kind of flew under the radar. <laughs> like no yeah. one watches. <laughs> um, so first season, pretty great. I've not rewatched the whole thing, but I've seen episodes here and there like since then. And I'm like, yeah, those are pretty solid storytelling bits. Um, and the Duffer bros uh, who made it, the show, uh, have said a few times that they wanted to make it an anthology show, which, which is such a cool idea. Like you could, there's so many 80 movies, 80s movies to pull from. Mm -hmm. Could you like the amount of th season plot ideas you could go with that is something we'll never know because every person in the world bought an 11 Halloween costume. Yeah. So they said, whoops, we got to continue whoops, the story. I guess. We need money. <laughs> so season two, Oh, it's not as good. I was not as big a fan of season two when it came out. I liked some aspects of it. I'll give it some credit. What happened in season two again? I'm uh, like... The pumpkins went bad. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes. the shadow guy showed up and Will was like possessed for a lot of it. Okay, yeah. they. Uh, yeah. And Sean Astin was in it. That's That was yeah. a plus. Season two is when my problems started. 
Because mm-hmm. as a D and D guy, the fact that you know they're like, "Oh, it's the mind flayer." That's not the mind flayer. That's nothing like a mind flayer. What w- that creature was, that was in there. That's your problem. Yeah. Is it really? Well, that's one of my problems. Okay. One of my bigger problems. Is that okay? I feel like that you're like, and that's where I drew. Yeah, the that's line. where I draw the line when you disgrace D and D lore. It's like <laughs> this is a different video than I thought we were gonna make. Um, no, season two was about when the kids started to annoy me because yeah. I felt they were just way too full of themselves and it really like showed. Like, okay. In yeah. The acting, yeah. Just the performances and also, you know, the fan base. Can we go to the fan base? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> get, I think that's like the ultimate, like, mm, mm. like that's the panel, the big conclusion. Big <laughs> but, uh, you know, to play the positive person. I liked uh, David Harbour as Hopper in season two. I thought he was like really good, better than mm. season one even. Hmm. I thought he was great. I thought Sean Astin was fun. I thought the 80s references, again, weren't terrible. They were worse, definitely. Like, they're yeah, a lot more. They kind of start to go overboard. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and there's like, I don't know, it just wasn't, it just wasn't as good. And yeah. you knew it wasn't going to be as good because they said, we're not doing anthology. We're going to make this one story. And you can tell they like kind of thought of what those characters would do after the fact, but it wasn't nearly as fleshed out. And, you know, yeah, I think that just shows they didn't want to stick to their guns. I think if they had just said, you know, we're the creative force in charge of this and then said, we're going to do an anthology show like we want to do, then I think probably it would have ended out better, but yeah, I think it would have been really good. Yeah. Well, that's what I, when I finished the first season, that's what I thought. I was like, Oh, this is going to be an anthology show. This mm-hmm. is sick. Like, I'd love to yeah. see more. Anth- and then I was like, oh, mm-hmm. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> and I don't even think the cliffhangers at the end of season one are that, like, oh, I have to know, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, I could know. Like, it'd be cool to know, but you don't need all the answers. Yeah. It was one of those endings that was, I feel like, is better. Like, you know how some things will end with, that's that same kind of ending where like yeah oh like there's a little creature you know like there's one left like mm-hmm. ha 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 yeah like, that's a great ending point to oh, just yeah. kind of tease you big trouble in little china mm-hmm. the monster is just in the truck at the end <laughs> yeah there's no sequel it doesn't need to be because it's just like it's just like this fun little it's no. like oh the adventure continues you know you yeah. don't actually need to see the adventure continue all the time i also feel like they started to I don't know, in season two, it felt like they kind of were like, what do we do with these characters? For oh, yeah. Some, for some plot arcs. And they just kind of started to lose their way. Yeah. And then it just kind of snowballed. And then season oh, no. three happened. <laughs> <laughs> and then season three happened. And now we can talk about season three. Oh. Um, I'll say when I first watched season three and I binged it in one day because I'm that guy. Because um, <laughs> Netflix, I mean, what am I going to do? You know, yeah, they released it one day. I'm like, I'm doing nothing. It was like July 4th, I think it came out on. I wasn't doing anything. Watched the whole thing. I enjoyed it in the moment. You know, I was like, that wasn't bad. It was fun to watch. There was some fun action stuff. Some some good old. It felt like an 80s summer film. But mm-hmm. I've heard, and a lot of people have on that I've watched videos of have kind of gone after season three. Like it's kind of it's kind of like literally popcorn in a show like yeah. it's like oh it's kind of fun to have in the moment but compared to season one there's like nothing to sustain or anything yeah i feel uh, season three season three i didn't i got close to the end but i just drew a line when like with with all the rats and the gross out stuff mm-hmm. i was just i was just like what is this like what does this become there's yeah. there's no D D in it at all <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah, that's why it's bad <laughs> <laughs> well it's to me like the biggest disappointment throughout two and three seasons is just missed potential yeah because it kind of did start out as this kind of like D thing and i feel like they're like oh they kind of like went back on that I'm like yeah uh-huh. that's kind of some nerd thing like let's not go too in deep in that and like yeah I think that, um, again, that just goes into they had a really good idea for season one. Yeah. And they didn't really know what they wanted to do for the other seasons. You know, I feel like if the anthology had been a thing, D&D probably wouldn't have been a thing in season two. Or yeah. maybe it would have been referenced, but it wouldn't have been as because that's a common storytelling thing to like have a characters doing a thing. And then that's like mm-hmm. representative of the bit. You could have gone a lot of ways with that, but 
it kind of you know and like again you said characters just stop being important yeah oh boy is season three real <laughs> bad at that <laughs> yep Finn Wolfhard, who I know you're a big fan of, oh, yeah. is your favorite actor. Love correct? that actor. You should. He should win an Oscar, right? He should win every Oscar, mm-hmm. even if he's not in any movies. Not in any <laughs> movies. Oh, <laughs> diverting from that. Uh, this is completely off topic. Off topic, but I think it's funny. Um, the Tonys are happening this year. Oh, and oh there's boy. one nominee for best actor. There's one. Is it him? No, it's not Finn Wolfhard. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, it's uh, it's, it's the guy Broadway? that played um, the military dude in the Lame Is movie. That guy. Did you watch Lame Is the movie? Never mind. Russell Crowe. No, the the guy that's like, uh, do you hear the pe- that guy who like gets Eddie Redmayne all riled up? Oh, just him. Yeah, it's just him because huh. like four musicals came out this year an award season before everything shut down ah uh, so the tonys came out and there's one nominee for them <laughs> wow so i think that's funny that's too bad anyway well like that, that was a good actor he's a cool guy oh yeah he's a good actor i don't blame him or i don't fault him but it's just funny yeah hmm, who could it be who who will win who will win the tony um and i'd like to get this out of the way i never okay. liked millie bobby brown all right get that out of the way i don't like her now like even season school. one i was kind of like eh, this 11 chick is like yeah, I mean weakest it's, character for, in my opinion. She doesn't have a ton to do, but again, it, it like she was a fine character season one because like again, she did all she needs to do. She was kind of yeah. like the you know alien kind of mysterious superpower character, and then had they gone to a different story, would have been something different. But again, that was such a popular character because everyone was like, oh my gosh. She has powers and she's a girl. <laughs> like, but, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, not a big fan. Um, Will is like useless in season three. Yeah. Will's like the most important Tragic. character. Because I actually, I liked him. Oh, he's if, great. If His there's actor, a character I liked throughout the whole show, it was him. I was like, man, that's the yeah. guy. His actor is actually really good. Yeah, very good. Of actor. all the kid actors, like he's the best one by a lot and he gets the least to do. And even the uh, toothless boy, Dustin. Oh, I love that guy. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I, I I I liked him too. He's good, and he, him and Steve are like basically the only two things that <laughs> were redeeming in season three because <laughs> yeah. because they barely change. You know, like they're just the best written part of that show by a lot. Well, also, when when like they'll destroy the relationships for like it didn't seem like for a good for, reason for like drawing. They'll just be like. Oh, I'm mad at you. Yeah. And like, yeah, I hate when shows do that. Like, because in season three, like, basically, those are the only two people that are actually still friends. Mm-hmm. And that's why it works, because they're still friends. Everyone else just hates each other. Yeah. And it's kind of like, um, yeah, what, what, no, yeah. what was your plan with this one? It's kind of, <laughs> C- it's like the CW almost, you know, where there's just a lot of forced drama. <clears throat> but it's on a way bigger budget, and it's not. But that's what I mean when I say the show isn't bad. Yeah, because you turn on the chan- you flip on the TV, and like ninety percent of shows are just garbage. So at least Stranger Things is like, oh, it kind of looks good, and the camera works fine, you know, the lighting is all right. Yeah, but there's a lot of other those problems CGI there. rats were whack though. No, yeah, that's the other problem. It's too gross a season. Yeah, like just I'm all for some some blood and violence and some tasteful things, but when it's just like exploding people and melting yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, no, it's not. And it's kind of... Uh, and that's the other thing, is, like, at least in, like, season one, it, there was the, a little horror aspect. Mm-hmm. Like season one, especially, there was this horror aspect that they pulled off really well without doing any of that stuff. Oh, yeah. And, and you, then, yeah, that's the thing. You can do horror without any of that stuff. It's more difficult. It's hard, but you can do it. But you can do it. And season one did it pretty well, yeah. for the most part. If, if there's like a, I could just say cop out. Season three just felt like a cop out to me. Yeah, it felt a, a lot. lot. Of it just felt like a summer blockbuster season of Stranger Things, <laughs> which it is because mm-hmm. it's it literally in the summer. It, yep, it was the summer of the season. Yep. So season three ended, and I was like, so for me, when I you didn't finish season three, I think I've told no. you what happens. In yeah, the end of you've told three. me. I've also seen the trailer for season four, yeah. which really got me riled up. So I knew for a fact when the season ended. This is the day it came out. I was like, "There's a season four. 
There's yeah. no way. And my brother was very insistent that no, that was the end of the show. And I was like, you don't, this is how shows work. I was like, I don't care about how natural the ending was, you know? I was like, there's no way they don't make another season because that's just how this show has folded out, you know? They'll keep doing ideas till they stop wanting to make money. <laughs> oh, side note. First, before we move on to season four, season, um, God, I can't think of the actor's name. I have to look it up. Who? Who? Um, like weirdo Brett Gelman. Brett Gelman. Brett Gelman is a cancer. <laughs> like, I, in the show? In real life. In real life. And, uh, yeah, his character creeped me out. I don't know about I don't know about his real life antics. I'm not a giant <laughs> fan of his character, but Yeah. Brett Gelman's just uh, he's like he's in the same tier as like Tim Heidecker, like comedians uh, that like okay. to get offended and cancel other comedians because uh, they're not as funny as them. That's a shame. Yeah, he's one of those. So bummer. Screw that guy. <laughs> Eric's still good, right? Yeah, Eric Wareheim's fine. Yeah, okay. That's what it's I just thought. Tim that was you know, doing all that messy stuff. All the messy stuff. Cancelled Sam Hyde. What a shame. You. <laughs> and I liked him in Eric Awesome show. But oh, yeah. Like I at love this it. point, I just can't do but it. But you won't watch, like, Tim Heidecker in a thing. No. I, I don't watch Beef House. Like, I've, I've, I've heard, like, oh, yeah, Haven't it's good. It. But I'm like, I can't support this guy. Haven't seen it. Couldn't tell you. Um, season four of Stranger Things is coming out. I'll watch it because I've seen them all at this point. Might as well. Yeah. But I'm not very excited for it. <laughs> like, I was kind of excited for season three. I was like, this actually looks, maybe they'll turn it around, you know? Yeah. Like, I'll still enjoy it, and I still will probably, if I rewatch season three, I'll probably enjoy parts of it. But in the same way that I would enjoy, like, a mid-tier Marvel movie, you know? Yeah. Where I'm like, okay, that was, like, a couple of fun parts. But eh, I, w- I would watch something. I'd rather watch something else. Yeah. But season four, man. I feel like. And, like, all suspense is just gone from, like, spoiler if you don't, I don't care. Um, (laughs) Hopper dies off screen in an alien explosion at the end of season three. Totally died. And I was like, no, he's not dead. He's not dead. Like, again, that's another thing where I, I just know how things work at this point where I'm like, nope, they didn't kill him. There's no possible way he's dead. And then they ruin it themselves because in the trailer he just shows up. Yeah, that's the other. There's uh, not even they don't even try. There's well, n- not like a hint of like, oh, he's turning around. Is it? No, they just show him. <laughs> it literally, just in the Siberian waste or yeah. whatever. It's 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 not not going great. I don't know how they're gonna get people on board with this unless they sign. That's that's what they'll do too. Is they'll probably sign some big actor from the '80s hmm. to be in it because that's what they do. Yeah. And I like all those actors, Carrie Elways and Sean Astin. Sean Astin, the boy. Oh, so good. Yeah, he was, he was one. I liked him. Sean Astin can get Yeah, he, had a, he was a good character. I liked him. Um, well, we haven't talked about some, something that that's kind of throughout the show. The whole, just like, hey, look, it's 80s. It's good. Oh, yeah. No, hey, look, 80s thing. Look, don't you love the 80s guys? Mm-hmm. Which I feel like is really bad in season four because they're just like, hey, hey Russians, remember all those 80s remember movies that had Russians in them? And don't get us wrong. We really like the 80s. Oh, yeah. And we love Who Russians. Doesn't? Oh, and I love Russians. <laughs> Gothniks? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but we said this in our music video. Mm. Our music video. Yeah. Our video about We kind of music. alluded. Um, yeah. I mean, you can't just point to the 80s and be like, wow, the 80s. You know, if you do it tastefully, which season one did for the most part, then I'm like, okay, I'll I'll give it a pass, you know, but season three just came to a point. Oh, by the way, the soundtrack to every season season of Stranger Things, as in songs they use from the 80s, Mm -hmm. all bops. However, that does not reflect on the show's quality. They just picked some good music. You know what I mean? I think the key word here also is subtlety. Yes. Like there was an essence of subtlety to the first season with their references and their like it wasn't like shoved in your face like yeah. hey look 80s oh yeah you love this don't you mm-hmm. i agree yeah and i think if they had taken it in different story routes through like an anthology 
they might have been able to keep that subtlety, you know? I'd really be interested to see what the Duffer Brothers would have made. Yeah. Like, if they just made, I don't know. I feel like once they're done with the show, they might be a little more free to discuss plot details, but I want to see what other angles they would have taken a season of a show in. Yeah. I'm not saying keep the same actors. I think it would have been nice to <laughs> shake it up and change actors, but if you want to keep, like, some, yeah, the car- like maybe Winona Ryder's in every season or something, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't have been opposed to that, but but no, everyone's got to know what happens to Eleven in season four. <laughs> she doesn't have her powers anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, that's like the whole, that's like every loose end possible is tied up at the end of the <laughs> But I still knew they were going to do another season because Russia. Because of Russia. Russia. Well, no. Because we can talk about yeah. how the real world. Yeah, now you can talk about the uh, bleeds into <laughs> much <laughs> like the upside down bleeds into um, the world of Hawkins. That's a stranger thing. <laughs> you haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just the fans, mm-hmm. just the hype, the hype train. I, I mean, I don't know if I've seen something what. As much hype in a while. Yeah. Like, can you think of anything that's been more hyped up, really? Black Panther. Black Panther's pretty hyped. But I think as far as, like, something over the course of many years, I think Stranger Things is... Yeah. Continuously. By the way, I think Black Panther's a pretty good movie. Yeah, Black Panther was pretty good. Yeah. Like... And it didn't feel like it was an annoying hype. No. I like, think, yeah, I think it's, like, I got annoyed because the Academy Awards nominated for, it, like, way too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe. Okay, well, uh, But Stranger Things definitely, and then it also played into the hype, and I think that's the big mm-hmm. problem. They let it get to their heads. Mm-hmm. You can't do that, kids. You can't do you let the hype get to your heads. Because mm-hmm. it shows. It does. Especially, uh, the, and for me, like, the I feel like Finn Wolfhart and Lee Bobby Brown... Uh-huh. Are the people who the reason I dislike them so much is because uh, it's 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 very obvious to see that the hype went to their heads. Yeah, like in real life, and then within the show itself, I think with their performances. Oh yeah, I'm not a big fan. And you can look at even back in season one, like interviews with the kids, like very clearly, Millie Bobby Brown is very like, oh, it's all about me. Yeah. <laughs> Which one I heard, she was like a 12 year old girl at the time making the show. Of course, she's like, oh, I'm famous now. But yeah. Uh, and then there's the Drake situation. <laughs> I gotta work Drake into every video. Because I, <laughs> I think you like Drake, the scourge of the earth. Um, I just watched Millie Bobby Brown's Sherlock Holmes. Oh, boy. Um, How was that? Well, I was, well, I did because I was watching the Guy Ritchie Sherlock's. Because mm. I've never seen him before. And I was like, oh, that could segue pretty nice into um, Gerlach Holmes. Gerlach Holmes. And uh, it was okay. I mean, it's like nothing special. I'm not going to rewatch it. Yeah. She's very, like, I think she produced it or something. I don't know. I think we talked about that on the old, old That Was Men. Yeah. Like, that was a news bit. Was it? Yeah, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, that's strange. She's like 14. Why is she producing a film? Yeah, I do remember that was on the. That was an ancient, that was a dinosaur podcast. That was a dinosaur podcast. Only the real fans have seen that one. But Henry Cavill plays Sherlock. Oh, Henry. Yes. Yes. King of the Nerds. That's the one redeeming (laughs) factor. Um, Yeah, fan base, as with many, you know, fan bases of things like Stranger Things. The thing is, it just kind of became... Like, the first season was great because there's kind of a character for every age range. Yeah. Which is, I'm not opposed to. It's kind of illumination entertainment-ish. Like, movies saying how there's, yeah. like, a character for everyone. Yeah. Um, which is fine. Like, Stranger Things season, whatever. Every character, there's, like, a teenager, there's a kid, there's an adult, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It just seems like now it's just appealing yeah. to the most people possible and for me, the, the thing that, one of the, it rustles my jammies, it's American Horror Story Syndrome, where you have these uh-huh. people who have not 
done, they haven't seen good films. They haven't seen the classics. They haven't. They just haven't seen the good stuff that this wouldn't exist without this stuff. Yeah. Like you haven't seen the source material, so you say, "Oh, that's so good because it's Stranger Things did it, and it's so you original." Mm-hmm. And it's like, hold up, there's like four other movies you need to watch, and then yeah. you'll see like this is copy pasted. Uh-huh. And the reason I call it American Horror Story Syndrome is because there are so many like nods to Kubrick and like all these oh, yeah. legends of horror within horror, American Horror Story. Yeah. And listening to people be like, "Oh, this this scene, oh, this thing, oh, it's so unique." And it's like, it's not. See, I don't even. I don't even listen to people like that. Oh, I'm just like, I, I I think if 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 someone genuinely thinks that something out of American Horror Story or Stranger Things is is like from that, yeah. I'll, I, I'd, be, I'd be amazed. I've never met anyone oh, who's said that. I don't, I don't think I have. I've met people. Okay. Mm. But that does sound annoying. Oh, it is. <laughs> um, especially when they're like, oh no, that old stuff? That's not good. I literally had someone say like, oh, that old stuff? No, that's not good. American Horror Story. That's, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> I, you know what? That's like, they're good, um, I want to say they're like gateway shows to a lot of things. Yeah. You could probably watch something like Stranger Things or American Horror Story and go, "Oh, I kind of like how this is or how this is made." I should, I probably enjoy the other stuff. However, like they're made in a way where you don't, for the audience, Stranger Things is made for. No. They don't want to go check out older stuff. No. <laughs> they're just like, "Oh, hmm, um, that looks interesting," but I'll never check out anything else from it. Yeah, if you liked Stranger Things season three, you'd love a lot of horror. You'd love the fan. Yeah. And you would love John Carpenter. Too. John Carpenter, basically any John Carpenter movie, you'd be a big fan of. Mm-hmm. You'd be a huge fan because you'd be like, "Whoa, yeah, this is how it could be." Yeah. Like I watched Stranger Things and I was like, "This is great," and I'd never seen a John Carpenter movie before that. And then I watched his five main ones and I was like, "Whoa, this is one of my favorite directors." But I never watching them was like. Thank you, Stranger Things. Like, <laughs> you should be the way. I was like, oh, it's just like I've been meaning to get around to Halloween and other things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Just watch ET, guys. Just watch ET. You know I have my you know I had nightmares about ET. Yeah. Oh really? Did I tell you this? No. no. We might have in real life. Maybe in real life. I've never said it on the show. Oh yeah, wait, what was your E.T. nightmare? Yeah, I think you think you did tell me about this. Let's get into it. Um, my E.T. I had a recurring E.T. Nightmare. Oh god. Uh, I'd never seen E.T. before. That's a big clarification. When this happened, I'd never seen E.T. I'd seen a book in like a store <laughs> that had yes. the cover of E.T. And I was like familiar that E.T. was an alien. Um, and I'm um, aware he was a nice alien. No. I oh. was not aware of that. No one decided to tell me about that. <laughs> um, my parents, not anybody. They were like, yeah, he's an alien. And, I was like, ah. uh, and then on the Shrek DVD, there's a commercial for E.T. Oh my and uh, again, I didn't know it was supposed to be like a lighthearted yeah. comedy kind of, oh, it's like a family movie. But the trailer's shot really scary and there's like a hooded figure and it's E.T. I don't remember that trailer because I had the Shrek VHS. Too. Yeah, and then E.T. pops up and screams. Yeah, and then the kid is like, ah! Yeah, and so seven-year-old me is terrified because I'm like, ah, he's real. Uh, and so I had a recurring nightmare um, where it would just be like a normal dream, and then I would like some lighting change would happen, and I'd be like, oh, maybe it's ET. It's ET is coming. And, uh, and, and I, yeah, he would, but literally, like it would be a dream completely unrelated, and he would show up. And then uh, I had that for like a year or two, and I had one dream where he was going to show up, and I said, you know what, no, I'm going to confront him. Like I'm not, I'm not even lying. You know, it's like this is enough. And I went into a room and I woke up. I swear to you, I never had an ET nightmare again. Huh? That sounds fake. But That's a yeah. uh, You have vivid dreams. You've been telling me for years. Yes. I dream like once every six months, <laughs> and it's like a movie. Um, but that's my ET. I'm not scared of him anymore. Uh, pro, uh, epilogue, by the way. I saw E.T. Loves it. Great movie. Not a scary alien. No, honestly, yeah. Pretty, no. kind of cute. Yeah. 
Good, good Spielberg stuff. Not my favorite Spielberg, but I also haven't seen it more, so maybe I like it more. Who's <laughs> your favorite Spielberg now? No, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's great as long as shrill brown alien poo poo boy. Come on, look at him. <laughs> no, I didn't want to. Years. <laughs> He's all greasy. For years, I wouldn't be excited. <laughs> What's that? Is that Stranger Things? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, good theme song. Oh, great. great theme great song. song. That's the one thing that's usually consistent about things like Stranger Things. The score usually is great. Yeah. The score is definitely very good in Stranger Things. Billy, the act, that actor, Digger Montgomery. Oh, yeah, I liked him. He was good. He was like one of the better parts of season three. Good actor. And like one of the, that's another one of those actors where I'm like, oh, I can't wait for him to get off of Stranger Things so he can go do something better. Good villain too. Good villains are oh, yeah. hard to come by. Oh yeah. Especially in television. So definitely pos- but that's what I mean. There's a lot of positives about Stranger Things in season yeah. three, technically. Like but I don't know, it's not the best show. You know what is yeah. the best show? Barry. Barry's, yeah, that's Barry's the best show, best show. Or Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. That's one of them. Or Atlanta. Uh, yes, I might take that word for it. <laughs> take your word for it. Yeah, yeah, it's got the boys. It's got a few of the boys. It's got like all the boys. It's got, yeah, it's got the boys. I thought it was to watch season two. I finished season two. Very good. And then Huey gets superpowers and he heals um, Kamiko. Butcher! What? <laughs> Kamiko. Frenchie, favorite character, Harper Frenchie. And is that all we have to? Is that all we have to get off our chest? I mean, that's all I have to get off my chest. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
guess the moral of the story is don't uh, watch. Well, watch Stranger Things season four, but <laughs> also more importantly, watch um, better things. Like Glenn Martin. Like Glenn yeah. Martin. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, You'd be surprised. <laughs> I've actually never seen it. I just saw ads for it. I've seen like half an episode of it. <laughs> what a half episode that was if you remember the quote. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Jeez. But I don't remember the quote anymore. That's not I, a problem. So. It must just come out of the ether, like straight into my brain. And then zip back away into the darkness. I'm gone forever. Gone. Hey, Wild Thornberries. That was a good show. Whoa. But I watched a lot of. You know, I, I love the characters. I love Tim Curry's <laughs> guy. <laughs> the Nigel. Nigel, yeah. I love Nigel. Oh, that's me, Nigel. The, yeah, the kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great name. Like, the monkey talks, right? Yes, the okay. monkey talks. I never watched it. The monkey is, like, smarter than the dad. That's, like, that's me. Wow. <laughs> and then, uh, I think I watched the Rugrats collab with Thornberries. Mm. Their album kind of dropped for Fire Collab. Wait, they had an album? <laughs> yeah, they had a full album release. Man, <laughs> Chucky spitting some rhymes. Chucky <laughs> <laughs> and the kid, the monkey kid. <laughs> Tommy, Chucky, right? Those are the names? Tommy, Chucky, Lil, Phil, and Lil. And then they grew up, that was weird. It's called, um, it was really weird. Rugrats all grown up? Yeah. Yeah. That was very strange. I did not like that. Didn't watch it. There was a little ba- there was a baby of the babies. Like they were all babies, but then in the movie they had a, a smaller baby. What? <laughs> Dill. His name was Dill. Dill? Yeah. Because his name was Dill Pickles. Wait, no, I think wasn't that his name? No. No. Dill. Was it it? Wasn't one of their last names Pickles? Yeah, Tommy Pickles. Tommy, Pickles. I mean, Tommy has a baby, like a baby baby brother. Oh. His name is Dill. Interesting. And there's a An- Angelica, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the brat. Yeah. And then Rugrats Rugrat's more. It's Rugrat's great. It's more. <laughs> the dad. Oh, Chucky. Yeah. And Chucky's dad. And Chucky's dad. I like a stew. Stew pickle. Stew pickles. <laughs> That's the best character. What is it with like those shows and the moms just having the hair that's just like, <laughs> like in Jimmy Neutron, like mom, the, the, the crazy, the, 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 yeah. Marge has like, boof. <laughs> Marge, Marge, Marge. Um, I don't know. Timmy Turner's mom has normal hair. Yeah, or it's either the, and all those moms were like moms from the fifties. Mm-hmm. You know, they had that fifties vibe. Well, Jimmy Neutron kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because it's like weird mad scientist. That's yeah. Kind of and it was kind of themed, like the, the little ice cream shop they go to. Yeah. And like, yeah, yeah. It kind of had that 50 sci fi feel to it. Yeah. But for like, very loud. Well, music is like, <laughs> Yeah, I had the Thurman. It's called a Thurman? Yeah. Is it called a ther- Thurman or a Thurman? 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 They had one in Frank. Have you seen Frank? Yes, yes, of course. I love Frank. Oh, uh, yes. Frank. Frank is awesome. <laughs> Michael Fassbender. Like, what a guy. What a guy. Man, this mint bike's just gone off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> just like the strange thing. Just like, strange. it's like an allegory. It's like an allegory. It's like, it's like how the characters play Dungeons and Dragons and <laughs> something. <laughs> We're talking about this and that. What we're talking about. You, you know, maybe it may be surprising to you that my biggest gripe is that they did Dungeons and Dragons dirty, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> extremely surprising. Not expecting that. Hey, you don't mess with it's nerds and their stuff. Okay. It's because you stopped after you said it. Was this the point? Well, thanks for, thanks for watching. Yeah. And if there's a moral... Go watch some Rugrats. Or some Stranger Things. Sure. Not Stranger Things. What am I Why'd saying? you say it? <laughs> D&D. Go watch some D&D. Yeah, go watch some D&D. Do you know Steve's in Minecraft? <laughs>